is a demonstration of the Kramer Tape, Tubes, and Transistors bundle from Waves. In this bundle, there are three plugins. First is the Kramer Tape plugin, which models an analog tape machine. Next is the Kramer Pi compressor, which models an analog or hardware compressor. And finally is the Kramer HLS channel, which models a analog or hardware EQ and preamp from a channel strip. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use these three plugins with a multi-track drum recording. What I'm going to do is show you the drum recording and right away without using any processing. It sounds kind of boring. It sounds kind of sterile. sounds kind of digital. What I'm going to do is use these plugins to add some life into the drum performance, add some nice analog flavor, analog color to it, and also help it punch um, and, and help the drums, uh, you know, thump a little bit so that they'll sit better in the mix. So let's get started. Right away, in the first plugin insert across all the tracks, I've got kick drums, snares, toms, hi-hat, overhead, and two pairs of room mics. First thing I do is insert the Kramer tape. Let me uh, activate it and I'll show you what I'm doing. For the most part on these instruments, all I'm doing is increasing the record level so that my input signals right around minus three to zero. I've uh, chosen to use a 7.5 inches per second because I want to roll off a little bit of the high end and boost a little bit of the low end. Um, I'm not using any noise. Maybe on some of them I've got to wow and flutter up just to add a nice little subtle uh, uh, tape feel. Um, I've got the flux down so I'm not doing a lot of distortion on most of the instruments. However, for the kick drum, what I'm doing is I'm increasing the record level, I'm boosting up the flux. What that's going to do is add the kind of tape saturation or tape glue or tape compression to just the kick drum channels. And tape is known, analog tape was known for sounding really good for things like the kick drum and the bass guitar because when you kind of push the tape or increase the energy to the tape, it, it uh, saturated well with the low frequencies. So that's what I'm doing with the kick drum on these channels is I've increased the flux. The other ones you'll you'll see that I've got the flux down. So that's going to mean that they're not doing a whole lot of of compre or uh, the analog saturation or compression. Let me play it back and so you can hear how it sounds. I've got them all bust right now to this clean channel. Bypassed. So it's a very subtle effect. Just rolling off a little bit of the high end and squashing my kick drum a little bit. All right, next up is the Kramer Pi Compressor. What I want to show you with this is for most of the tracks, I'm just doing a little bit of compression. So I've got the threshold at a medium level, the output, uh, just doing a little bit of makeup gain, a low compression ratio, a fast attack time. For the most part, this hardware, uh, this, uh, this model compressor of the hardware is just going to just add a, a little bit of compression to most of the tracks just to level them out a little bit. Add a little bit of um, analog flavor, analog color to it, but not a whole lot. However, for my snare drum at this point, I'm actually going to use a low threshold and a high compression ratio. What that's going to do is really squash the snare, bring up the sustain of the snare, and, uh, and uh, help it you know, sit better and, and come out more in the mix. I'm also doing a similar sort of thing with my room mics because I have the low com uh, threshold, high compression ratio. What that's going to do is make the room mics more present, really bring out the room mics so that the drums sound huge. Let me play it back and you can hear how it sounds. First bypass. Sounds dull, sounds boring. Just most of the channels just doing a little bit of compression. Snare much more. Kick drum just a little bit. Next up in the signal chain is the Kramer HLS channel. I'll show you this. For the most part, I'm just doing a, a few dB of EQ um, on most of the tracks just to make it sound a little bit better. I've boosted up the preamp to hopefully give it a little bit more analog flavor. Um, and the kick drum, I've boosted you know a little bit around 60 hertz on some of these. Uh, for the the in mic of the kick drum, I'm actually rolling off some of the low end, giving it more punch around 2K, so that'll make the, the snare drum snap more. 
Um, and that's really it. I'll play it back and you can hear what I'm doing with this stage. All right, so if you, hopefully you can hear the drums are starting to come together. The mix is is starting to sound uh, much more like what you would expect. I have all these channels bust to my clean channel over here, and uh, I'm gonna do is set up parallel compression uh, for bus channels. But right away on my clean channel, what I want to show you is I'm 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 inserting the effects again. I've got the Kramer tape going on, and I'm kind of just using this as an additive effect. So I've got it's kind of like if I would have recorded on analog tape, and now I've got a I've got to uh, take all those channels and, and do a submix back onto tape because I want to free up some of those channels. So you, uh, that would be the practice when you're using tape is to have to, as to knock them down just to two channels. So what I'm doing, you know, not a whole lot here, just inserting the tape as just another subtle effect. With my Kramer Pi, I've got compression ratio down at one to one, so no compressions going on. All I'm doing is maybe adding a little bit of that analog color going on in the plugin. With HLS, again, not doing a whole lot, just a few dB of EQ. Let me play it back and go through this one. Finally, I've got a parallel uh, compression channel over here. One is the clean and one is the compression. I've bust some most of my direct mics over here um, over to this compression channel. Again, I've got the Kramer tape. This time with the, com the Pi compressor, I'm using a high compression ratio, a low threshold, to really squash this bus. Um, and then I'm going to mix it into taste along with the clean channel. And I've got the HLS just doing a few dB of equalization. Here you go. What that's really going to do is make the drums punch and bring out the attack by using the parallel channel. Let's, without the parallel channel, bring it in. That's really all there is to it. Just using these three plugins, what I did is I took a kind of boring sounding drum mix, added some nice uh, analog coloration to it using these three plugins, and uh, hopefully now it'll sit better in the mix.